welcome back to where we... Eh, I guess we're going to launch this first. Oh, I didn't get the new KCT DLL. Oh well. Well, our cost is f display is fixed thanks to CMAV. Uh, what kind of pad do we need for those things? I guess we need a th level three pad. Yeah, so we're launching this weather satellite to sun synchronous orbit. Uh, really, Hydrolox is getting there. Uh, yeah, so that number is apparently wrong. The well, correct number is in the VAB. Roll it out. Okay. Now, from the tracking station, we have to check our land versus the desired orbit. How is that not dead yet? All right. So, where are we? This is the wrong side of the Earth, I presume. Yeah, that's just one. Cape. All right. So let's align. With that land. And we have to launch south. probably need to launch slightly before we actually achieve the land because it will take us some time to achieve it. Uh, I feel like that's probably about right. Well, that's about right. Let's do the thing. Hey, folks. That was weird. Let's save just in case. In case I screwed up the LAN. Uh, those things are, they will still be done well before that. Ready. Oh, I didn't build a backup. Well, we'll see. Minus 98.9, I believe. Let's verify the things. Uh, LAN is 151.7, which is 
the offset of that. That seems about correct. Uh, yeah, 151.7 going up, so uh, that plus 180. So we're two degrees shy, I think. But that's, I don't think we'll cover two degrees, so we'll wait a little bit longer. Uh, what do we want? We want uh, 1,100 kilometers, give or take. I could turn off a mid-coast and put <laughs> both of those quite high, but I'll do it manually because we may need to fine-tune some things. Oh, oh no, actually that's going down. So I guess we should just launch and hope that we're close enough because I did it by eye. Um, for hot staging, that all seems fine. Turn the RCS on. Might as well go. a bit west of south. That confuses me. How does the elapsed time two minutes more than what it should be? I guess because we jerked coming off the clamps, probably. I need. All oh right, I need to get that plug in too. There was a fix to that too. Let's close that. We have the delta V. Let's do something saner than 145. the Florida coast. We're going to drop stuff, right? We're going to <laughs> We're going to drop the booster on Miami. Oh well. It might make it all the way to Cuba, who knows. It's hot stage in time. What does our arc look like? Our arc... Okay, so it looks like the upper would have in fact landed a little bit after Cuba. Blowfish, yeah, still using the old model. It wasn't one of the ones I updated. It was a, it was a craft that was still on my build list that I edited. 
Uh, I did do a little save file surgery because RP1 changed the density of the payload masses. So I had to go and change things back. Uh, the nice thing is save me some money because those tanks are already tooled. Um, that land is coming down to be about right. You probably had a less of a payload fairing, uh, or a heavier payload, maybe. Also, it's possible to do this without hot staging. I just decided not to. Uh, also, could have been the ascent profile. Who knows? A bunch of things. What is that? Still peroxide? Oh no, this is this one's using hydrazine. Interesting. I don't know why the other one was still set to to peroxide. I guess maybe I built it earlier. I don't know. What is our land supposed to be? 151.7, I think? Yeah, so orbit will eventually align with that, I think. Which means... We should be about right. For the land. Alright, so we'll have about a kilometer per second left over. No, 1200, which should be right to raise... How much does this say is left going to be left over? Okay, so almost a cam sec. See how things look for the orbit. We're still, our land is a degree off, but I think that'll be fine. Uh, so I think we just want to set up a circ at Apogee. Uh, turn this off. Cheap at the price. All right. Hey, persistent rotation is rotating correctly this time. That's nice. All right. Oops. Went a little past. if you're watching this it'd be great if you could do the thing where you actually don't start warping until velocity is less than persistent angular velocity is less than persistent rotations threshold because I think what happens is MechJeb turns on SAS and warp but doesn't kill the last bit of angular velocity so persistent rotation says up below, above the threshold and has you rotate Very stable still because um, the boil off. Looking about right. Check the stats. Reach the specified orbit. Why is it not? There we go. 
Okay, I just had a time delay. That was worrying. All right, let's spin up and detach the stage. that this is set to debris. It is. That's nice. All right. We did it, class. Let's look at the times on these. 18 to 35 days. It's still two months until training is done. Uh, we have 114 days, and that's done in 35 days. What else should we do? A lot of contracts, none of them I particularly want to do. Hmm. Let's examine tech again. Hydrolox engines, 55 days, 51 days. So nothing interesting for 100 days there. And then we would probably want to set up I don't know what, what we would want to do. I think I was talking about a uh, better lunar lander with the new avionics. So we can build that in 100 days. Um, Do I even want to... What's early hydrolox? Oh! I've already researched prototype hydrolox engines. I didn't even realize. I thought... Oh, th right. I've been waiting for early hydrolox. Right. I've been waiting for these to finish. Yeah! Right, because I skipped these because they're kind of crap. Reliability sucks. <laughs> uh, they have a w gloriously long burn time, but um, there's the A1. 430 seconds. Um, but yeah, the reliability sucks. So I think we're going to wait for the for the A3s which unlock in 50 days. And we get the LR87 LH2. My favorite. I love that engine so much. Um, Yeah, now the things basically just never fail. But back then, well, to be fair, the Centauri failed because the tank done gone boom, but still. Um, Okay.
So I'm going to duplicate this just to have one on hand because we are going to, I presume, want to do more than one crude flight. Uh, right, so there's that one done. Then 18 days for that one to be done. That's 20 days to go. Dolphin one is almost done. It's, hang on. Let me exactly get when this ends. April 16th. So let's add an alarm. Uh, and that's 30 days, give or take. it's time to design a hydrolock stage. Now here's the question. Do I want to use balloon tanks or do I want to not use balloon tanks? By which I mean do I basically just want to remake Centaur <laughs> or do I want to do something other than just remaking Centaur? Uh, and we're going to make the stage on top of, where's the Doberman? There's a Doberman. So first let's make sure our engines are all upgraded. Yes, they are. These are also all upgraded. Yeah, the Rolex balloon tank is quite insane, uh, especially for hydro a Hydrolox balloon tank. But, um, the added performance is impressive for a Centaur. But I think I basically don't want to mess around with that. Uh, so let's go to this and then 3.048. So I guess I'll just stay for now with what I got, which is the 10 foot non balloon. And if for some reason we need extra performance, we can do that later. All right. So first of all, this actually should get longer, and its bottom should get wider. Except for the fact that um, now I can't tell what the t what tooling diameter. Uh, where's the? What are the dimensions on this puppy? Three meters by eight hundred. All right. All right. Well, 
A little wasted space, but it's not too bad. Blowfish, yeah, I already have three meter. So that's why I'm not so keen to, un to unlock balloon tanks and then tool for balloon tanks all in three meter just for the slight added benefit. Which is impressive, but not really worth it. Okay. Now. We definitely want to save these RCS blocks. We definitely want to put that to the side. We want to get rid of this. Oh, it doesn't even... <laughs> I've been launching really the wrong crap on Dobermans all this time and not noticing. Well, that's kind of sucks. Uh, so, RL10 time. Hundred and sixty K. Whew. That there is one expensive engine. I wonder. I guess I could just use the SSTU mount, uh, but but I just I just can't I just can't do it. Uh, just can't do it. I really should start using SSTU tanks. Some of that handsome plumbing is going to get hidden, but that's approximately correct. All right, four of you. Oops. That should work. Uh, and I think we want a fair amount more. So let's make these hydrazine. Let's make sure everything actually is hydrazine. Yes. Okay. So, hydrazine. Uh, so, we're looking at 37 liters, and they use uh, 4 times 6 times 4 is 24, so about a quarter of a liter a second. And we have 36, so 150. So, two and a half minutes of burn with four thrusters.
Uh, Blowfish says, what do you think of reasonable Vega upgrade? Um... Uh, so I wouldn't make it the size of an early centaur because, I mean, an early centaur has two RL tens. And what's the the thrust is more on this, but not. Oh yeah, no, it is double. All right. Yeah. So you put one Vega on a part of, but part of the reason why centaurs burn time was so long was because. Um, of the trying to get maximum advantage of liquid hydrogen. With a lower specific impulse, you probably wouldn't have as long a burn time. So I'd say you probably want a burn time in the five to six minute range. Maybe six minutes. My guess would be for, for an upgraded Vega, it would want about a six minute burn time and it would probably have a specific impulse of... I mean, 320 would be pretty reasonable, I think. Um, the midline, maybe 325, but that's pushing it. Uh, Cause like, even these things... Yeah, I mean, 325 sounds... For for a Vega upgrade, I guess 325 sounds about right. You might get up to 328 if you push it. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to go really more than that. Ah, uh, you can use RPA and sim it, probably. Like, if you get the Gene of B's stats and then convert it over to Carolox with the same efficiency numbers, uh, you might get something reasonable. Um... All oh, right, it's not going to show up because I haven't unlocked it yet. All right, anyway, uh, so I think that's probably enough hydrazine for us. Two and a half minutes of constant burn. We don't want it to be too heavy. It's already 20 kilos each, so 40 kilos. Uh, is this is a tank 3 HP? Yes, yes it is. Uh, what we do want to do is put some avionics on this. Because we don't have... Do we have... Yeah, we do. Alright, is it worth investing? Okay, that entry cost should be rather higher because it's the first hibernating avionics. Weird that it's that low. Uh, we'll take it. They're 800 and Delta is... 200. So it's an extra 600 funds. So we'll use this for now. Um, but my guess is that we'll want to swap out to the serious business avionics at some point. Okay. Now, let's put configurations on these. Th Good lord! That's how much the upgrade costs? That seems... that's impressive, but okay. It's been a long time since I played. Uh, how much can this support, anyway? Uh, only 10 tons? Uh, pretty sure we're gonna need two, then. Yeah, Gene is 15 tons, and that would be more reasonable. But. So. Aw, oh, dang.
that's correct. Oops, where did it go? There it went. Um, and oh, I already did that tank. Okay, well, just reset it just in case. Put the engines there. Actually, we might as well light them off with the RCS because we'll be. We don't need to. Uh, yeah, it's like 12.8. I'm remembering 15 broadly, but I think that was a Centaur E probably instead of a Centaur D. May have been only 12. Point, yeah, I think it's like 12.8 tons or something. But anyway, so. What's the rated burn time on these? Oh, uh, it doesn't. That that DLL and RF broke. It's supposed to integrate with test flight and show stuff there, but. All right. Huh. What don't you like about RL10? There we go. <laughs> I must have said LR10. Is that A31, I think it is. 470 seconds. All right, so that's uh, just shy of eight minutes. We will, however, push up the utilization because it's totes a common bulkhead. That seems longer than I remember for Centaur, but I guess it's about right. I am at 95% utilization, not 100%, so it's square root of 5%. Longer. Anyway, uh, let's over provision this a wee bit. Uh, 9,500, what does that give us for burn time? 9,200, what does that do? Maybe 250. Uh, I guess we need to stretch it a bit. That's fine. So we have three hundred and nineteen liters. See what this does to our delta V, 6642. So we lost 30 meters per second by putting a bunch of extra LH2 in. So that's fine. Yeah, that would be super craft breaking. Why is that now offset weirdly? Bring it. 
it back down so it's clickable. And these also, for some reason, got offset weirdly. All right. Everything is looking good. Yeah, that's a big stage. So. Let's put this back on. First we set it back down to 1x. I've done that before. And height. First off, let's fix this so I stop being annoyed by it. on. This goes... Oh, I, oh, shoot, it was already correct. Now I've messed it up. Alright. The top goes to... there. That should be fine. Alright. That is an impressive quantity of delta v. Gained us quite a bit. So let's see what we can push TLI with these changes. Uh, I will claim that to reach Earth orbit with this thing, that's 6,500 meters per second, which means, yeah, we'll probably need about 3 km sec from the upper stage. It's yeah, it's probably like 93, 9400 meters per second to reach orbit. This thing does not have a high thrust weight ratio. So, say 3200 plus 9400 is 12600. Perfect. What does that equate to? Uh, 1.8 tons. Alright, so this will push 1.8 tons t to TLI. 1.8 tons is quite a bit of tonnage to be doing things with. Uh, there's something fish. Oh, right, I didn't fix the extra height here. That's what's wrong. All right. Check staging. We're going to hot stage that. Alright, that gained us 30 meters per second. Because we are ditching the fairings earlier. So we can probably come down to, yeah, almost 1.9 tons TLI. Which is about to be expected for twice an atlas. Uh, Blowfish, that is correct that the RCS is clipping into the interstage. However, I don't care because I set the top not as wide as the bottom, which means that there is no collider here. 
as you can see it's not highlighting. It doesn't highlight until you come down here. So given that there's no collider, they won't actually clip and it'll be fine. However, we're not going to do our first test flight on this thing. We're going to do our first test flight on a Corgi. Because I don't particularly want to spend all that. Don't need no boosters. And pretty sure these are the wrong engines, but you never know. Correct, they are the wrong engines. avionics look like? Correct. Alright. And <laughs> so this is the sort of thing you can do with Hydrolox. Let's look at two stages to the moon. Almost can make it. If we stretch to two minutes and forty five seconds. Ah, but they're not tooled. Dang. We don't have a tooled version of this stage. And even if we did it's still not good enough to do TLI, so we need a kick motor for TLI. What? Oh, it's yeah. It did the it did the thing that everybody hates. However, we can get a little bit more delta V by oops, 1x, getting rid of you, getting rid of you, and doing that. So we'll just be a tiny bit short. All right, so we can't quite do it. 
Cinder Shark. Hey, thanks for watching. Yes, I do stream. I haven't streamed in the last year or so, but the last month or so I've been streaming. Um, yeah, I got, I have some RO and RP0 stuff on YouTube. Um, all right, where are we? So that all looks fine. So yeah, we can't quite achieve. Um, well, we probably actually could. <laughs> Maybe we could just barely make it because it's fairly, fairly fast to orbit. Probably take four minutes off of that. Yeah. 12, 141. Uh, 9 sec to orbit. Uh, no, I think we just can't quite do two-stage TLI. Um, Uh, RP1's not updated past 1.3 yet. Uh, hopefully soon, but not yet. So what's untooled here? Right, the hydrazine stuff is untooled. So let's fix that. The payload fairing is untooled. Ah. Uh, That is the wrong stage for you, my friend. <sighs> Let's give it a... What do we want to do for here? Let's just have a two meter ring. Uh, I'm too lazy to actually convert that to Imperial. Um, and that does not give a ton of space. So let's go slightly more. Eight feet of barrel. All right. So we're going to lock that and tool those and then we still need to tool this. Cheap because it's just a an extension. Okay. So we're gonna give this a decent amount of lead ballast such that we have to use, such that this would be what we would be going to GTO with, uh, which would be we want a Probably about eleven six fifty, I think. All right. Yeah, this is just not 
not as much as you can do with an atlas because it's only the it's only the two LR one, one LR seventy nines down here. Um, Yeah, I really have no idea how long the update will take because I think there's still a couple of dependencies we're waiting on. Uh, don't recall offhand what's going on there. Um, oh, and I should probably change the, I want to change the texture of this. Uh, where's my pretties? Uh, we want a common bulkhead. When we do that. Oops, did I already build it? No. Okay. So we want to. It's going to take 52 days to build. Ah. Uh, how much is that costing me? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> let's find some... Let's find a cheaper way to have some mass. <laughs> How about... Nope, wrong thing. How about tank one? Tank one is pretty cheap. And I think this diameter was probably too old. Let's put some lead ballast in it. Oh yes, we can actually look at tank one and see what was tooled. 1.638 times 0.554 Bingo. Thank you, Sound and Fury, for adding that UI. Now we need to lower the utilization quite a bit. What did I say it should be? Um, something like 11650. Perfect. All right, so we're going to send some ballast to GTO. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that we would definitely need to put some casters on to get some extra delta V. And at that point, we would have a decent GTO capable vehicle. But optimally, we'd really want three LR79s in this core, which we could do on 10 feet, or just be a little long. All right, so that's 48 days. And let's do some research. Uh, at 50 data a day, 50 times 50 is 2,500. Close enough. We'll be a little under data, Donna, but 
there's also the rollout time. Man, the rollout cost is expensive on this thing. Uh, we have next to no money left. We'd better do some things that give us money. Blowfish, yeah, it's well. Once I get the RS, once I get the LR seventy nine dash NA dash thirteen with the long running core, then it'll be an EELV for sure. But for now, it's still very Merkin. Uh, so. 59 days. So let's build that. It's going to go out to a different pad than the AFITs do, so it doesn't actually matter. So we need some money. To get money, we're going to accept. Oh, that's Vesta, not Venus. Hey, did I already pick Venus? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did, didn't I? Alright, well, let's pick something else. Uh, that's a fairly steep GTO requirement. Oh, right, because these contracts haven't reset for the new payloads. Uh, let's... That gives us a year to do it. We should be able to do it in a year. So we'll pick this. That'll at least give us some breathing room. I think because it, it required making it required the straight eight tank um, and extending it quite a length. Like to add boosters didn't require remaking the entire delta stage, but extending the burn time did. And there's not a simple conversion that I know of. I just know that's a lot. Actually, 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 why don't we do, why don't we, why don't we do it with this? And we'll put a probe with, a, we'll put a parachute on the thing instead of just ballast. Heat shield with a parachute. And that'll gain us another, well actually no, we're gonna, I'll save this around for the next capsule we test. Um, and that'll fund that. So for now, we're just going to do that with no contract backing it, because I just want to see how the Hydrolox works. Forty-eight days, Venus in fifty-nine days. So let's warp to training finishing. Oh, actually, if training's finished, then I'm not sure we want to start building Corgi yet. Because I think the training is only 30 days. And if we can, we'll fly that before Venus. So we'll keep the Corgi around in the background. As usual, we build up, we, we have a build episode for something that won't fly for a few episodes. want the 16th if memory serves. Alright, let's get rid of this alarm. 
Let's check training. Oh, I could have just clicked the set alarm button now that that's in. Okay, so we lost a day because I was going fast. Mission, oops, nope, Mission Mercury. And we're going to train you two. Oh, it takes 60 days. I thought it took 30 days. Oh, the X1 stuff took 30 days. All right. And we're also going to train them up. So everybody's training for that. So we added an alarm for that. 57 days. I guess we should have done the corky after all. Oh well. Guess I also need to design a lunar lander to do the lunar lander contract. Do I have new science now? Nope, I don't. interesting. There isn't a collider there. Is that the best we can do? Probably still is. Hydrazine. We could get KVAB, but we're not going to. All right. We are going to get rid of those and instead use some of these.
Oh, it has a minimum volume. That's why. Sinking suspicion that that is actually further out than we can go on our bearing top. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll just put one under it, just to know how wide this needs to be. Alright, so there's actually plenty of clearance. That's good. So we can rotate these a little bit more. All right, now we're probably getting to the point that we need to stop. How expensive are these things? Let's find out. Pretty cheap. Don't actually care. So we need like 900 and 2200, 3100. Let's see how we can do that. What diameters do I have tooled in tank 3? Let's find out. Two point three nine? I thought it was two point four three. Interesting. Oh no, I know why that is. Okay. Uh one point four six. Let's try 1.46. Okay. What little itty bitty engine do we want to put on this thing? I guess we'll put an XISR on it. Because we don't really have any better kick motors right now. I, we could put an AJ10 on it. What kind of reliability are we talking about with an AJ10? Probably something fairly bad. Especially since it won't restart. AJ-10 mid, how much does that cost to unlock? 25? I'm going to use an AJ-10 mid at some point, for sure. Whose model is that, anyway?
Oh, that's from Real Engines. Cool. Um. Downside being that this is not tested <laughs> and therefore <laughs> of questionable reliability. I believe the burn time is four minutes. Uh, five minutes. Okay. That's way more than we need. That's also way heavier than it can be. So I think that was a waste of money, although I'm sure we'll use that engine later. So, I guess it's going to be a... How much worse is this specific amount? It's 198 versus... Uh, 235. Mm, not a ton worse. It's going to take a while. The minimum delta V we're looking at is about there. That's under our mass budget. It cuts the burn time down, but it doesn't do great things. Now, we just need some Ugh, oh, that's shockingly heavy. Uh, all right, if we burn to capture, we'll be down to about here. Nope. Let's try that again. If we burn to capture, we'll be down to about here. That's one ton. What can we do for avionics? That's 140 kilos. And... It only uses 150 watts. So, how heavy would this be? No, we can't do that. How about how about we capture with a solid that we will spin stabilize for and then detach and then we just have to land with this stuff. Um, Nope. 
we need better avionics for this. I think we're going to have to write, wait until we have the Ranger Block 3. Because I'm just not seeing a good way to do this. What we could do... Well, what if we did this then? So we're going to have to use this. And we have to do that. Huh? Don't I have tank 3 in a reasonable size? 1.466. Should have, that made it much cheaper. All right. Now that's a reasonable amount of delta V. And then we're going to use a solid to capture. Except that doesn't actually give us enough delta V to capture. That would. See what happens there. That fires, and then we want that to fire, and then. Oops. No, wrong one. Right one. Alright. That's probably about right. but we're over mass. Arg. Oh. Right. If we're powering the thing anyway, then who the heck cares? Right. We don't need that as the probe core. Try that again.
Okay. All right, that's looking a little better. Eighteen forty six that's nineteen hundred and four hundred is twenty three hundred. Let's give ourselves a little more margin. Alright. That all seems fairly reasonable to me. Why did this get screwed up again? Four oh four and three forty two is seven forty two, so we will not quite capture down to low orbit, but it will be not unreasonable. We're under budget. So let's give ourselves a little bit more. Six thirty-two forty-two. Ah, it wants to be tooled again. Okay. All right. So that will do most of the capturing. Then we can clean up with the rest. So we're at just under. Right. That all seems fine to me. The one problem, of course, is that this is not going to fit in the fairings. <laughs> yeah, it's hydrazine, so it had to be. Ooh, I wonder what the ma what is the mass fraction on Altair anyway? Uh, can't actually tell. Wondering if it's better than that highly pressurized tank. Probably not, but the specific impulse might make up for it. Um, because what I'm wondering is, let's cut this down and use a solid to start our retro. Except then we don't have fine control over the orbit. What if we went to one solid? Hmm. So let's stick with what we got. We're just under 8 tons and 3264. see what we can do with this. That's so that's strictly heavier. 
That's 200 kilos heavier. For the same deal. Uh, so we will not we will not be doing that. Um, hmm. Anybody else get any ideas of what we can do to try to make this a bit more reasonable? That's what we can do, I bet. Yep, that's what we can do. <laughs> That is a much more reasonable option. And all it takes is trying an untried engine. Yeah, I feel like that's plenty of delta V for what we need to do. That leaves us quite a bit of margin. So, good I didn't unlock that in vain. Um, we are, however, going to put the RCS down here. And... We're also going to increase the delta V in this a little bit because now we have to use that for mid-course stuff too. Uh, and I think I actually want to take these and put them on the legs. There. That's a decently handsome little thing with a whomping big engine. This tank is ugly, but there's not a lot I want to do to it that wouldn't require extra tooling, which I don't want to pay for. So yes, we have our new lander now. Oh, except these... go there. Which means that these have to come back up. Okay. Alright. That all seems pretty reasonable. It's under the mass budget for the centaur. Er. Uh, quick, what's a cat that starts with D?
pulled the wrong fairing size because these things need to actually be fairly tall, I guess, because of that engine. Oh, it already has max DV, so I, DU, so I don't have to worry about R and Ding it because of the tech transfer. Uh, if I didn't care about cooling costs, I would have this as parallel tanks around the engine, so we could push the engine up. Actually, I'm just going to do that, and we're going to pretend that that's a Taurus. <laughs> um, These four point uh, we'll go with four point five seven two for a fifteen foot barrel. It's going to be expensive. Oh, it's not going to be that expensive. All right, lock the shape. All right. Now, how much delta V are we talking about? 3552 plus 3094 plus 7313 minus 3200. So we have plenty of spare delta V. This is slightly over capacity. This do not need quite as much launch vehicle as we are getting. But that's fine. It is also a quite expensive launch. Because it will cost fifty four million dollars. So in total, it's about a sixty million dollar launch. That liquid hydrogen. That liquid hydrogen, man, it's expensive. So we better not fail. <laughs> uh, might be able to get away with doing this with a regular Doberman, but I kind of want to try out my hydrogen. Oh, and I didn't change the... chose this before. Reet. Okay. Mm, don't know what... Supposedly there's a way to choose pad. Uh... Oh, there we are. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's an even more expensive launch cost. So, $70 million to launch this thing. All right. So given that apparently these numbers are correct, I think that means the launch costs need to come down a little bit because they should be at about a max of maybe f four to one for uncrewed things and maybe six to one for crewed. Um, I have to do some looking. Um, anyway, hopefully we won't run out of money before this thing is ready to go. Um, let me just quick check what 1.61. Oh, and I need to check staging too. I bet the staging's screwed. Uh, hot stage, retro, fairing sides. That decoupler and then all the what the heck? 
think retro motors are those. Ah, okay. That needs to come up there. That needs to come up there. That needs to come down there. Those need to be. All right, that's better. All right, so let me just quick check what the other thing can throw. Because given how expensive that is, yeah, $20 million cheaper for this. So whatever it is, minus 4,200. All right, so we do not have sufficient delta V without Hydrolox to do what we want to do. So we got to spend the spend. Got to do the do and spend the spend. Hydrolox. We're only going to queue one of them, because <laughs> God help us if it fails. And in fact, given how expensive Hydrolox is, I'm now tempted to just not even fly the test mission first and just fly this mission, and if it fails, fly it again, because like that Corgi is so expensive. So this is 11 million and. So we're talking about 70 million total, or 73 million total, whereas Corgi H alone is 34. Uh, which pad do we want? We want this pad, 34, 40. All right, so we're looking at either 70 million if we succeed, 140 million if we fail the first time, or Uh, 40 and 70, which is 110. So basically, there's a difference of yeah, there's a difference of 30 million uh, and a bunch of time, although not as much time as you'd think. 30 days. So yeah, I think we're just going to build two of the might ones, uh, might fours, and not even fly this test launch. So what we're actually going to fly, I guess, is a Venus launch. 48 days. All right. So we'll roll one of them out. Let's see, we're at 159. So that's weird. The costs are not actually being deducted the way they're supposed to. Oh, I guess CMAF fixed that too, because we, we hit a high time warp. Oh no, actually the right, what it said there was, no, it's supposed to be like 24 or something. I, who knows? Anyway. So we have fix, fixed all these things, and if then the balance is weird, then we'll fix the balance. If we've been balanced for bugs, then 
that would explain things. All right, uh, 44 days away. Is there anything we can do meanwhile? I mean, we could just do one of these cheap things. Yeah, this would be super quick, quick to build and fly. again. Wow, that's a big payout for next to no payload. I wonder if we can get away with this. I wonder if we can fly both that and this. Oh, no, that's got a lower. The old one had the right SMA. This does not. That seems ambitious for geostationary. How much does it pay? It doesn't even pay all that much. Yeah, cause 728 units. God, yeah. You'd need... I don't even want to think about how much you'd need to throw GTO for that. Yeah, like that. That is generating way too high a payload for the contract payout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. I'm just not interested in these things. I've done so many satellite missions. So I'm just going to warp. And hope we have enough money to survive. What's our maintenance rate? Uh, 4700 a month. That's pretty cheap. Watch that. <laughs> Once we get improved avionic. <laughs> well, except we use the, the able core, so it's fine. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and I guess we'll just warp to the window. Don't really know what to use the Fab's build rate on once these things build. I guess more dolphins and we'll do some repeatables. I think once again we want to launch about three days ahead of the window and then three days after. because it unlocked. All right. Okay. Let's go.
RCS to on. We are set to hot stage. All this looks good to me. We will target the moon. We will launch into plane of target and go. So supposedly it's cloudy, but I see no clouds ahead above. Is the sun right overhead? I guess the sun is right overhead. So good. seconds to go. So good. Oh, and huh. This went back down to 145. I thought I was at 165 before. And this went down to zero, which is good because it needed to be. Because I didn't, I did not want to launch to a thousand, and I didn't even look at that. 
so that's good. Uh, it's an LR-105 because Saab's LR-91 is broken and it doesn't have... Uh, it's broken in 1.2 and above KSP because of the gimbal and nobody's had a chance to fix it yet and because there aren't upgrade configs for the LR-91. Like, what I would like to do... I mean, RO has to, probably has to make a call on this, but I feel like it's probably worth looking at interesting speculative configs. Like, I had a speculative set of LR80-791 Carolox upgrade configs. Um, and, like, if those existed, I would totally use an LR91 rather than the 105. Because the 105 kind of shouldn't be airlit. I, I thought they got taken out again. I mean, I added it in my local copy, but I don't think I ever pushed it. Uh, Badger, what do you mean? Huh, now I actually have to look. Uh, reels my overhaul... Let's check. Uh, engine configs. LR91 config. There's the AJ3, AJ5, 7, 9, 11, 11A. Oh yeah, there's a Dash 9 Caro sitting in there. Okay. Alright, so I guess I can just add the other ones and then... Oh yeah, you brought up the link too. Okay. Yeah, I should, I'll should. i just add the Dash 5 Caro and the Dash 11 and 11A Caro. Yeah, somebody needs to just reorient the gimbal transform and then it'll be unbroken. Or we can just all use cobalts when he releases them. Oh, I forgot to turn RCS on. Oops. <laughs> oh well.
Right. Because this has the wrong avionics. Uh, been launching the wrong stage of this thing so many times. before the window somehow? That confuses me. side of the... Huh. Alright, so it costs a little bit more. Ooh, we almost could have done a direct injection. Yeah, Blowfish, I, have, I haven't looked at any of the making history parts yet, so I don't... Yeah, I'm tempting I'm tempted to do a faster transfer. first. Alright. So, we're in something like an hour. So, let's do something like that. So that will give us a... Oh, that gives us exactly the same tra <laughs> the same transit duration as... 18 hours versus... Oh. So we're literally just trading off... So we're going to be... 13 hours. Okay. So 
So we'll save a few hours, basically. That's ridiculous. But hey, we'll save a few hours. So this, this is the wrong stage, because it's still using Peroxide and it's still using the Avol's Avionics. Try this one more time. Target the Earth. Activate the antennas. Go to Venus. Hey, uh, Ejection. All right, let's look at what that resulted in.
actually pretty darn good. Really quite good. We'll need to fine tune it, obviously, but... Only need a 10 meter per second fine tune. That's pretty impressive. All right, so let's add the SOI alarm. It's three days. Okay, we're getting decent solar power, so that's fine. So let's go away. Uh, needs to recondition and it will take 10 hours to recondition. Acknowledged. one out. All right, so we will pass SOI before the other thing is ready. So let's warp on out. Create the fine tune node, set the alarm for the fine tune node. to that and then a good 55 days to that. We're getting a little tight on cash. In fact, we may not be able to afford to roll that out, which is not great. Uh, <laughs> but at least we'll be able to fly our human mission and that will give us a bunch of money. Are there any other contracts we will want to take eventually? I guess I could just grind it a bit more satellite stuff, but that gives how long does that give? Four years? I'm sure we'll be going back to Mars before then, so let's just take that. And we 
haven't orbited Venus yet, so we don't have the Venus orbit thing. We would need a lunar heat shield for that, probably. Alright. So that's rolled out. Let's repeat the same launch. And then finally launch our intrepid astronauts into orbit.
go. Fairing set. Hey, specimens, Biff. We're launching to Venus, the backup probe. Could have gotten away with only one, but uh, this will give us a little bit more science, and um, in case the other one has some sort of terrible failure. Although, the fact that it survived launch implies it's not going to have a terrible failure. This thing takes forever to launch. And I've sort of run out of interesting things to say to pass the time, so... We'll just start Dolphin Run, Dolphin 1 rolling out. That's right, I never did find a cat name.
go. I briefly has insufficient avionics at state separation because I use the AVIL instead of the Delta Avionics core because I'm stupid. I mentioned it earlier in the in the stream that this was using the wrong core. That's what's going on there. Insertion. Venus. Okay. What? What, what, what? Did I target the wrong thing? That is target. That's better. Wait, what? That's so weird. So we want one hour, and we're going to be doing that. That's fine. Don't know why that always messes up, but it does.
just cannot align properly. have a peek. We have an encounter. Good enough for me. solar on the panels. Let's ride it out. Whew, we're just going to miss the moon. <laughs> that was fairly tight. We don't want to hit the lunar SOI because that'll do weird things. to fine-tune closest approach, add the alarm. Huh, apparently we need a big fine-tune. Well, we have the delta-v, it's not like it matters. I should stop there, because starting the, the mission with an actual astronaut will take a while. So we'll pick that up when we pick things up. So thank you everybody for watching this extra long stream, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.